Close your eyes and watch your breath. As the breath comes in, just stay with the sensation of breathing. As it goes out, just stay with that sensation. As for any thoughts that may come through the mind, just let them go for the time being. Think of them as visitors that you're not ready to receive at the moment because you've got work you've got to do. You want to learn how to bring your mind under your control so you can be more mindful and more alert. Because the state of the mind is one of your treasures. There are a lot of things we gain in life and people can take them away. But the state of your mind is something nobody else can take away from you. And you're the one who can develop it. You're also the one that can destroy it by the way you think, by the way you talk to yourself. So you want to learn how to get the mind under some control. So it really does become a treasure inside, a sense of a source of well-being, a source of clarity. So you can see what's going on in life and figure out what's right, what's wrong, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. That sense of what's right and what's wrong is something that's hard to find in the world today because there's so many pe different rights and so many different wrongs. But as the Buddha said, if anything that harms yourself or harms others, why would you do it? Because that harm is going to come back. So you know, be clear enough about what you're doing to see what's going, what your intention is, what you expect the result of your action is going to be. And you need the strength to say no to unskillful things and to say yes to things that are skillful. So we do all that to develop the clarity, we develop the strength by getting the mind in concentration, focused on one object with a sense of well-being, with a sense of clarity. So try to stay with the breath with that sense of clarity. When you've developed the mind in this way, then it really does become your treasure. Because the good things in life have to do with the good qualities of mind. The things outside are good only when the mind is in good shape. You've probably seen people who are very poor but are happy, and people who are rich but miserable. Happiness doesn't depend on material wealth. It depends on inner wealth, the wealth of a well-developed mind. It doesn't necessarily mean a mind that's got a lot of education outside, but a mind that's alert to itself and sees itself clearly and has a sense of inner strength that whatever is skillful, you're, you're going to be up to doing it, and whatever's not, you're going to be up to saying no. And that way you protect yourself. That's one of the virtues of having this kind of wealth inside is that it's protection. So focus your attention on inner wealth. As for outer wealth, learn to use that in a way that gives rise to more inner wealth. Because the inner wealth is where all the true happiness lies.